Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to create a search filter functionality in MVC without using Entity Framework. And here we got the output of that code. Let's search for the letter C. Search. Notice we got a search results. The employee name starts with C, Charan and Chetrika. If I type only Charan, search, got Charan. If I type Ben, we got Ben here. Yeah. That's it. We have created a search functionality without using entity frame. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new MVC application. Go to File, New, Project. And from the web templates, I am selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework is 4.6.1 I am using. The application name is MVC Search Without Entity Framework. Click OK. And from the templates, I'm selecting MVC. Click OK. And the project is created successfully. Let's close this default window. Open Solution Explorer. Now in this project, I'm adding a new class in this models folder. Right click the models folder. Add class. The class name I'm giving EMP class add. And here we got our EMP class. Now in this EMP class, I'm adding public properties. But before adding the public properties in this class, first we'll check the table and the column names in SQL Server database. And this is a table name employee which contains four columns ID, name, email, and salary. I'm adding properties for name, email, and salary. Public string name get set. Public string email get set public string the last one is a salary get set after adding the properties in this EMP class the next open solution explorer in the project I am creating a new controller in this controllers folder right click the controllers add controller I'm selecting MVC file controller empty. Add. The controller name is employee. Add. And here we got our controller also EMP controller. Now, first thing in this controller, I'm adding the namespaces using MVC, the project name, application name dot models semicolon after that i am adding the sql server namespaces using system.data using system.data dot sql client the last namespace i'm adding using system.configuration after adding these namespaces the next step i am adding database name in the server explorer open the server explorer the data connections right click that one add connection the server name after adding SQL server name I'm selecting the database name sample DB is my user database the employee table I have created in this table only sample DB test connection is succeeded okay okay and here we got the sample DB dot DB is added under data connections we need the data source of this sample db. Right click the sample db dot dbo. Go to properties. In the properties, in the properties, the connection string, which contains the data source, copy that one. 
open solution explorer come to the bottom open web.config file in the web.config file notice here the connection strings add a new connection string add name is equals to my connection connection string I'm adding the data source provide a name which is a system dot data dot SQL client after adding the connection string in the web.config file switch to the controller in the action result index I'm adding the object to pass the such variable string emp such string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I am adding the connection string name which is my connection copy that one and paste here dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection I am adding main con string SQL query is equals to here I am adding the select statement to search the employee record so select start from the table name is dbo dot employee table just copy this one I am adding the table name where I want to search with the employee name the employee name column is the name column copy that one name like single quotes single quotes double quotes double quotes plus plus here I am adding this object emp search now between single quotes and double quotes I am adding percentage percentage SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command which takes two parameters the first one is a command text which is a SQL query comma the second one is a connection object which is a SQL con just add this one after that let's open the SQL con dot open method as well as we have to close the connection string also close method SQL data adapter SDA is an object new SQL data adapter I am adding SQL com object data set DS is equals to new data set let's fill the data set SDA dot fill method DS after that I'm adding list class list now inside this list I'm adding this EMP class creating an object EC is equals to new list EMP class I'm creating a data row for each data row dr in ds dot tables which takes an integer index value zero dot rows property now ec dot add method in this add method I'm creating objects emp class I'm adding the public properties which we have created in this EMP class. The first one is a name is equals to dr column. Now between these double quotes, I'm adding the data column name. The column name is a name, comma. The second property is the email is equals to dr between double quotes email, the column name in the table notice we got a small error here cannot implicitly convert type object to string so let's convert type as this one convert dot to string method for this one also for email also convert dot to string method
and the last one is a salary is equals to convert dot to string br between double quotes I'm adding the salary column from the table let's add the semicolon notice here I have typecasted the salary data type is a two string because when I created a table the salary data type is a string type if you have the other type like integer you need to convert this integer type so after that the return view I'm adding EC copy this one easy and one more important after the close connection I am clearing the model state dot clear method that's it I have written the code to search the employee details now we need the index view page highlight the index right click that one add view the view name is the index only and the template I'm selecting list template the model class which is the EMP class this one and I'm not adding any data context class just click add and here we got our index view page also now let's change this uh, header search employee details horizontal line I'm adding center tag I want to display it in the center so let's add the center at the end I don't require this action link new create as well as as well as I don't require the edit details and delete hyperlinks which are action links now between these p tags I'm adding the HTML elements the HTML controls one is a text box control and the second one is a button control let's add those ones input type is equals to text and name is equals to this is very important in the name property I'm adding this EMP search object name input type submit value is equals to search and name also submit let's close the button control also after adding the HTML controls now I'm adding at using HTML dot begin form method in this begin form method the first parameter I'm adding the object road values index view page index page this page only comma the second one is a controller name second parameter our controller name is a employee controller this one and we are getting the form method form method dot get I'm closing this curly braces after the button control that's it now before run this application we have to change our controller name file open solution explorer app underscore start expand that one notice the road config.cs file open that one notice the controller name is a home which is a default one I'm deleting that one our controller name is employee controller add that one here and the action result which is an index view page on this page that's it we have done the complete coding part let's check the results Google Chrome and here we got the output of that code let's search for the letter C search notice we got a search results the employee name starts with C Charan and Chetrika. If I type only Charan, search got Charan. If I type Ben, we got Ben here. Yeah. That's it. We have created a search functionality without using entity framework.